Hi guys. If you click that thumbnail, you know where you reached. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame. I am old Marvelous One, Marvelous Madame in the flesh. Welcome back to the show. Happy 2019, February. I don't know what I was trying to say. Sorry, sorry, sorry for the banging. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to my tribe, ow. This is going to be your February 2019 How Does Bay Feel About You for the beautiful sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? We will be examining how your partner feels about you. Let me go ahead and break down the spread and we can get right into the cards. We're going to be taking five love energies and look at that. Ace of Cups. And we're going to be examining how they feel about you. We're going to be clarifying that energy. We're going to be getting bottom of the decks, clarifying those, getting your whispers of love um, energy oracle cards, okay? And going from there. At the end of the uh, all of that, we're going to be getting your energy and finding out how you feel about how they feel. And then we're going to be extending that in another video where you can find out um, a little bit more and we'll go into depth, okay? Let's get started. Universe, spirit, angels, and my guides, go ahead and provide me to a pentacles with the energy that surrounds Cancer's partner, their bae, their boo, their one. How do they feel about Cancer? Two of wands, choices, pence and wands, planning. The chariot. Good. Let's go. How do they feel about cancer? How do they feel? Whoa. Now this was first. Six of wands. That was the nine, but it popped out. I didn't really like the way it popped out. Ten of pentacles. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the energy of that anyway, if it doesn't come out in the bottom. Let's see. The world. The Ace of Wands. And the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful energy. So what that was that popped out with the Six of Wands was the Nine. And the way that it fell, I just didn't trust taking it. And the, the, the top of the deck is the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups. All of this is neighboring energy. It's safe to say that your partner is definitely in love with you, Cancer. But let's talk about what came out. So first and foremost, when it comes down to how they feel, first and foremost, we have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Two of Wands. Two twos representing the choices that they have to make. They have to make a choice. They're, they're juggling some things with the Two of Pentacles, but they're very passionate and trying to be bold and go in and tap into their personal power so they can come and handle this the right way. I feel like this is choices that they have to make, personal choices that they have to make that surrounds moving forward. And if you can see, this all goes together. Moving forward passionately, tapping into my personal power so I can get this juggling act off the ground, okay? And then moving forward with the chariot. So black or white horse, that's exactly what they're in right now. There's no doubt about the fact that they're passionate. There's no doubt about the fact that they see this with this six of wands, definitely as a victory and a, an accomplishment of theirs. No doubt that they see you as someone that they can be have security with, with this 10 of pentacles, no doubt in their mind, this particular energy is an energy of how there's something that's not being said. There's something that's not being shown. They're very, they're, the bottom of the deck energy is showing that they're going through, before I get, tap into that Ace of Wands, that they're going through some type of transformations right now with themselves. This is personal power, 
personal things. This obviously could affect you too, Cancer, but I'm feeling like your partner is definitely dealing with the world and the wheel of fortune. This is just major, major transformations, okay? Let's go ahead and get this Whispers of Love energy so we can tie this together. So, whoa. I'm, whoa. All right. Be willing to express love. This is exactly, I think, one of, one of something that they may be afflicted with. Express love to receive love. And this is what your partner is going to definitely have to understand, okay? They're going to have to understand that there has to be some give and take here. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, when we start clarifying their energies that there are some issues with some type of communication. There could have been some type of distance. I feel like if they're having to tap their personal power, something isn't being done. Um, something is being blocked because they're being guided. They're very, very, very passionate about the prospect of having with this two and planning with this 10, I'm sorry, planning with the ace. So they've already moved through um, the entire, we got, they, they moved through how they feel, through the feelings, through the storm, through the trials and tribulations and their passion and they're deciding to accept this ace of wands. You are what ignites their passion. You ignite something inside of them cancer that just gets them going. And I think what's interesting in this particular deck is, is like how I read your other, um, how I read your other uh, readings, what the divide is. This is definitely a division. So if we take it, we got, if we got abundance, security, and passion. So uh, Cancer, you're connecting with, um, I definitely, I water because the chariot is here and you're operating in your, in your element, your major arconic, arconic energy is here. However, I feel like the person that you're connecting with could definitely be fellow water. On top of that, what's interesting is, is we have the fellow suits on either side and the divide is the chariot. So on one side, we're trying to go and juggle the fact that we feel that we can have security with you. Okay? And then, and again, on the other hand, we're trying to balance out the passion and plan, tap into our personal power a little bit more because we know that we can be successful with you. So overall, when you look at this, we have juggling exactly how we're going to move forward with this security and getting things on my personal, in my personal finances, in my personal life with this two of pentacles back on track. And then I'm passionate, but maybe I'm not telling or communicating this six of wands. Six of wands is a very good card when you're trying to, um, express the energy of it will be the equivalent of the four of wands that's a good indication for marriage as well so when i'm looking at the fact that i see this six of wands oops here we go i see this six of wands and this ten of pentacles to me that's definitely strong next level commitment type thing uh type energy uh cancer so um and we know that there's some trans for made some transformations going on here. There's going to be a change in fortune um, and some cycles of old stagnant cycles moving out. But overall, baby, this is what this is where it's at. But this is not lacking love. Okay. Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. Speak the love language. Love and words have the power to change lives, including your own. Your person is being guided to talk to you. Okay. Simple acts of kindness. Absolutely. Your person is balancing how to show you how they feel. I feel like they haven't been as comfortable with doing that. There has been some passionate things that has been expressed. But I don't believe with 
the way that the cards have fallen here tonight, guys, that your partner is being 100% honest and showing you. This is my main indicator right here is this two of wands. They're not near, nowhere near letting you know anything about the passion. And let me say, if you are being guided, whenever I see the two of wands in a reading that's really aspected this good, when we have this ten of pentacles, now it had, if it had been other wand cards um, and nothing solid and stable, then I would have been a little concerned. But Cancer, every time I read your energy, especially for how they feel, I always feel like somebody doesn't want you to know something more than what they're letting on. You know, the chariot is, is a good card for moving forward when it's, when, when it's surrounded by cards that support it. But it's also competition and one-upmanship. One up There's competition between the lovers. Um, I feel like maybe you guys could be experiencing a very tit-for-tat type of energy where, well, you didn't say it, I didn't. And, and I do strongly feel like someone has been definitely afraid to say something. Um, they're, be, they're being guided to come out of that. They don't want you to know how much they really care for you and when I say care I think that they want you so bad that it's like a passionate inferno does that make sense I really do feel sorry about that I really do feel like it's just it's I don't know. It's like a, a, a fire. I don't want to start singing rolling in the deep, but that's how I'm feeling. I think I'm going to call this rolling in the deep. They are rolling in the deep. But that's that, that lyrics that Adele is singing, they broke up. That's like a breakup song. They're rolling in the deep, but they're rolling in the deep of their passion. This person that you're connecting with has a fire in their chart. I feel like this person, there is a combination. You're surrounded right now with earth and fire. Clarify this two of pentacles. Yes. Transformation. I've been saying transformation the whole night. Your person is juggling, changing. They're juggling, and I'm actually shocked that this death card, see, this is more water, Scorpio energy here. I'm actually shocked that um, the death card didn't clarify the two of wands because that's them tapping into their personal power. But this two of pentacles, I, I feel, is one of those things where it's like, there's death of, old, of, of, of things that no longer serve them. They're accepting the change. They're accepting the, the transformations and allowing old cycles with the Wheel of Fortune and the, and the World card to leave the situation. They're not used to this. Clarify this Two of Wands. Yes. So they want reciprocity. They are aware that there hasn't been enough give and take. And the Two of Wands is being clarified by the Six of Pentacles. Now, a part of something that they need to shed is interesting, so interesting, because I'm, I'm really picking up on the fact that they've been everything to everybody. This person that you are connecting with, there are so many pinnacles here. This person owns something. This person has that bread. This person is completely capable of taking care of him or herself. This person does not need you this person wants you and i think what is going on is of course they need you i'm sorry but you know the expression i don't need you i i want you that is 
a type of statement that is just saying that I can I feel like this person can have anybody that they want. I feel like this six of pentacles is talking to me right now and I'm hearing I'm hearing that this person has been everything to everybody. Always given to a whole lot of a lot of other people. Always got a bunch of people in their face. They're changing with personal things that they have to do to become a better person. They want to move forward. Yes. Yes, this person is water. Water with earth. Water with fire. Cancer. You are connecting with a fellow cancer with either. Because the strongest feelings here are surrounded around victory with the wands and yes so you're connecting with a fellow water sign that has a fire moon on earth moon their feelings the feeling here is very very passionate they're rolling in the deep okay but not in deep doo-doo this is <laughs> love and commitment and the ten of pentacles they want that with you and they've never had, they've never felt this way. I think I may call them never felt this way, but I'm just saying. Okay, so this is clarifying the chariot. So Cancer, this is strong water that you're connecting with. Clarify the six of wands for me. Yes. There's a burden. They're burdened. They're carrying a heavy load. But after you get here, you can't go nowhere else but to the top. They're shedding this. This is clarifying the fact that they see you as a victory with the Six of Wands. Remember that. So I feel like this is what they're dealing with right now with this Death card, the World card, and the Wheel of Fortune. As they're transforming and going through all of the things that they're going through, it is a heavy burden on them, Cancer. And they are still, they went through this heavy burden. They may be experiencing this heavy burden now. All of the weight of the world on their shoulders. They do a lot for everybody, which is evidence right here. This is, this is a, a part of their stress. They don't want you to know. Your partner comes up to you and the person that you're connecting with and they tell you, Something like, let me tell you what I have to deal with. Or they don't tell you what they have to deal with, but they reference. You don't know what I go through. That's what they're going through. I feel like it ain't. <sighs> I can't even believe that just happened. Whew. What's clarifying my Ten of Pentacles? The Ace of Cups. I'm speechless. So, <laughs> I told you that this person is rolling in the deep. And I told you that, whoa, I felt that. I didn't even get an opportunity to ask Spirit, Spirit, you seen the way that, that card just popped out. This is the security this is an, an, a cup that runs over with love. And the burden is, is that now that I see this Ace of Cups and the clarifying energy, I know exactly what this is now. There was a sense of not growing in the past. There was stagnancy. The things that they went through that represented those old cycles that needed to come to an end. And then you came along. I've been telling this story. I've been telling this story, guys. It's beautiful. And I'm going to get to your energy. I cannot wait to clarify it. But I told you that the person is being guided to be willing to express love. If they have not done that yet, cancer, don't fret. I just told you how this person feels with the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Six of Wands. 
The only thing that I'm missing that will put the nail in the coffin for me is the hair font. This person, and remember at the top, when I was, remember at the top, guys, when I was um, shuffling, was that this video? Because I think I had to do this twice. If it wasn't this video, because I, I clearly, I need some ginkgo biloba, but if it wasn't this video when I was tapping in and I was showing you guys the cards, the Ace of Cups was on top. If it wasn't this video, it was in the pre-shuffle. And the Ace of Cups was with the with that other deck. And then at the top of the, I told you what was at the top when I set the when I set the cards down of their energy, which is interesting, is the Nine of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. And I just was like, this energy is nearby. So then I get my five cards, I get my other clarifying deck, and this is what comes out. So the burden that they feel, the stagnancy that they've displayed. The lack of letting you know how they feel has absolutely nothing to do with you. You didn't do anything wrong, Cancer. Your person is just dealing with cycles. They're transforming. Okay? They're rolling in the deep, but it's the deep of their emotions. And I think that's what I'm going to call it. This person uh, with all this fire, letting you know how they feel is not their strong suit. You're being guided to have patience. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. And then simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. And I believe Taurus had that card as well. I do see pentacles here. Okay. Beautiful energy. Fantastic. Now, lovelies, it's time to find out how you feel. This is such a beautiful reading. It really is. This Ace of Cups and this Ace of Wands, baby. This person. And, you know, I feel like two sixes. Apology. Yeah, hold on. Yep. There's going to be an apology. That apology, they're going to acknowledge this, this, this burden. And when they do apologize, they're going to be acknowledging their Ten of Pentacles and their Ace of Cups for you. Okay. So I'm letting you know that it's coming. Let's find out if you're exercising patience because you are the queen of cups, baby. And the chariot is, is being clarified by the, king of cups, uh, the queen of cups. That's you, Cancer. So whoever this person is, they've identified you by, your, by both of your cards. How does Cancer feel? They've identified you, honey, with both of your cards. Yep. The arrows of love. Cupid's arrows, baby. It's coming fast. That ten of pentacles is coming. I feel like you want it. You're being remember, you're being guided to have patience. You want it, you're ready, but it's coming. There's been some conflicts with the five of wands. And I understand why. A lot of wands, guys. A lot of wands. Yeah, look at that. Not good, Cancer, for how you're feeling. Not good. Clarify how Cancer feels. Not good. You are mirroring one another. There's your two of wands. So there's some things that you want to say, and there's some things that they want to say. I don't see no love on your mind right now. I do see a good time. We got to clarify these. I'm confused. Completely confused. They have the will of fortune in their energy. Theirs is upright. 
Yours is in reverse. Okay? This is where you are. Nine of Pentacles. And you, I feel like these cards, oh my God. That's where you at. This is where you are. But you know what? This is how you feel about it. This is what attempted to come out in their energy. This is what it attempted to come out in your energy. And I'm, ha and I'm sorry I had to pull that many. You guys have been going back and forth in the sparring match. And you've been through it. And you're tired. And it's evidenced by this energy right here. It's evidenced by the bottom of the deck that you want the four of wands. They want the six. You want the stability. They want the victory. You know what I'm saying? You guys are on the same page, but the way that you execute just doesn't match. And you guys have to really speak this love language and really tap into how to do that. And I just feel like that is what's going on. I wasn't even supposed to talk about your bottoms, but I couldn't help it. I'm going to go more in depth with that in the extension. But, you know, there's conflict right here. This is the conflict, and this is where you are. This is how you feel. You feel like they are not being forthcoming about how they feel, and it has caused you and you got some bickering. You're, you're tired of it. I want to let you know, though, that the communication is coming in. Now, Cupid does have his foot up your butt. But, you know, right now, you're trying to figure out how to deliver your message. And they're trying to figure out how to deliver their message. Because remember, where's my two of wands? This is what's clarifying their two of wands. They want reciprocity. We'll find out in the extension what's going to clarify your two of wands because you guys are mirroring, but not mirroring exactly the same way. They are wanting to get over the conflict because you don't, what you don't know, Cancer, is that this conflict has nothing to do with you, but you feel like th this is how they're operating. And although you may feel like they're operating in a very lone wolf type of uh or being a wolf in sheep's clothing and they're acting like you know they're leaving you out in the dark with how they feel maybe how they're moving maybe not being forthcoming about the fact that they're spying on you because this is the spy card and you have called them out on their shit there's possibly been some you know words exchanged there or some vindictiveness uh again i still feel like at the end of the day, you guys need to speak this love language and meet each other halfway. Your bottom of the deck energy is beautiful. Their bottom of the deck energy is showing that their crap that they're going through and why they've been operating like in that very um, Ten of Wands energy, which clarified, by the way, their six of wands, okay, is the fact that they are dealing with this. They're dealing with the fact that they're in love with you, and this is what they want to they wanna tell you this, but the way in which they do things, they're not necessarily ready to do that, which is why they're tapping into their two of wands. So I feel like they want to communicate this, they're rolling in the deep of their emotions about you, Cancer, and going through major transformations while they're trying to get there. And you ain't having it. You think that it's very selfish of them not to have expressed themselves to you in all of this time. You feel very betrayed. You feel like they're operating that way. And what you're trying to do is tap into your personal power to find out how you're going to deal with it and be bold. But ultimately, with that being said, you know, you still feel like you can still have fun with this person and this is the celebration. 
I gonna go back into these bottoms. Um, there is some things that is letting me know, but I'm gonna clarify this three of cups because I feel like, well, I'm gonna to clarify all of them, but I feel like you may be feeling like they are operating in the three of cups and your clarifying energy is gonna let us know whether you feel like they're being dishonest with you and there's somebody else involved, so. Cancer, that has been your read, and I certainly hope it resonated. Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. Go ahead, drop those comments down below like it's hot. Let me know how you rocking with this. Man, it's going down. The first couple of videos is like, boom. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and get you extended. Talk about all of these beautiful energies and the extensions. Right now, if you're connecting with an Aries, their Aries extension is up for, uh, for purchase. Um, if you are connecting with a Taurus, that extension is also up for purchase and both of the main videos are out right now for your viewing. So, enter that giveaway. That's down in the description. You want to know what's going on in the sky? That's down in the description. All of the links that you need are there. I'm going to be uh, dropping your Divine Energy Oracle message for this month down in there too. But I'm probably going to be adding them like a little later. The, the links are already there. You can view those videos on IGTV and Facebook. But I'm just going to go ahead and drop the link for you anyway. Um, just go and check out what your message is, okay? I will see you in the extension. And if, for everybody else, I will see you back here next week cancer as we examine the love energy that surrounds you for the mid-month okay bye cancer